G'day. Good to see you. I'm on my way back from a holiday at the beach and it was wonderful. Oh, it was so good to relax. The weather was perfect. I got to do lots of swimming, lazing about. It was wonderful. It was a long way there though. It took me half a day there and half a day to drive back again. Still, it was worth it. The beach was lovely. I wonder where I could go to on my next holiday. Where could I drive next time? Somewhere warm? Oh, and somewhere far away. Even somewhere far out. Hey, how about a space holiday? Yeah, I could go to some far out planet. Where could I go? Planet Pluto? Why not? Sounds like a nice place for a holiday. And it's the furthest planet in our solar system. So there'd be no traffic jams there, and I would have to take my car for all the gear. Hmm. I wonder how long it would take for me to drive to planet Pluto. Uh, five minutes? Uh, 50 minutes off. Five hours? I think it would take three days to get to Pluto. Maybe ten days off. <laughs> Five days, month, day, six hundred days. I think it'll take four years. A thousand years. Um, long. The car could never go to Pluto. I don't know, but it'll take long. You can't drive to planet Pluto and you have to go on a rocket. I don't know. Um, 41 miles to get up. I really can't get there because there's no road in space. I'm sure it can't take more than a couple of weeks to drive to planet Pluto. It took half a day to get to the beach and that was ages away. I think I'm going to have to work on some numbers. And I'm going to need lots of space to do it in. And I know just the place. coming with me? Come on, let's drive to Planet Pluto. I've made a scale model of our solar system. It's a miniature version of the real thing. It fits quite well into this paddock and with it I should be able to work out how long it will take me to drive to Planet Pluto. This is a scale model of the sun. It's one billion times smaller than the actual sun. The sun is a star, and it's the center of our solar system. This planet is Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun, and much smaller. And it's probably not a very nice place to have a holiday, because it has such hot, hot days and cold, cold nights. This is Venus, another very hot planet. And it's quite a long way away from Mercury, which is over there. Venus is covered in a thick blanket of cloud that keeps it so hot. So imagine that on a holiday. You want to be out swimming and having fun in the sun, not surrounded by cloud. I don't think I want a holiday on Venus. Ooh, coming up next is my pick of the bunch. This is planet Earth. It's where we live. And on my scale model, it's 150 metres away from the sun. In real life, it's 149 million kilometres away from the sun. It's much smaller than the sun. But it's from here that we start our journey to Pluto and beyond. I thought it was a good idea to find out what was in the other direction. It would have been terrible if we'd taken a wrong turn and ended up on the sun for a holiday. Whew, too hot for me. Right, let's go. Because I'm doing some calculations, you'll see the scale distance that I travel here. And because we're here on Earth at the moment, the counter will start at zero. Well, now we've got that sorted, let's go. This is Mars, the fourth planet out from the sun. 
And not really a very good one for a holiday because of all the volcanoes. Maybe a good place to stop for hot coffee or something. Or next up, Jupiter. This planet is Jupiter. It's the largest in our solar system. I wonder if it would be a good place for a holiday. Well, it does have 16 satellites or moons. Hmm. But we can't stop here. I've still got a long way to get to Pluto. In fact, I think I might need my car. This is Saturn, a pretty groovy looking planet with all those rings around it made of ice and rock. It's the second largest planet in our solar system, but we've still got three to go. This planet is Uranus. It has rings just like Saturn, but it's much smaller. It does seem to be taking a long time to get to Pluto, but we're almost there. Can't be much further. This is Neptune, the eighth planet from the sun. Next stop, Pluto and a holiday. I'm looking forward to it. are here. It's time for a holiday on planet Pluto. So where is Pluto? It's here. Pluto is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is also very, 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 very cold with average temperatures of minus 230 degrees. I didn't think about that when I was planning my holiday, did I? It's going to be more of a popsicle holiday than a summer one. Hmm. Well, taking into account that I was working only on a scale model of the solar system, if I was working with the real thing, it would be a billion times bigger. And bearing in mind that the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour, it would take me, oh, 6,565 years to drive to Pluto. That's without rest stops, without being able to go to the toilet, without stopping for petrol or anything. Hmm. I think maybe I should consider a holiday on Earth next summer. If you want to find out more about our solar system, send a stamped self-addressed envelope to the Auckland Observatory. They'll send you an information pack. Send that envelope to... How Big Is Space? Auckland Observatory. PO Box 24180, Royal Oak, Auckland. If you have any other questions you'd like answered, send me an email. Just head to my website, www.suzy.co.nz, and we can investigate together. Oh, and don't forget to check out your local library. They have stacks of information too. I'll see you again soon. Ka kite. Aren't you coming with me? Come on, let's drive. Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.